Hi everyone! In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over how to make a nice, soft, highlight, defocus, and glow using DaVinci Resolve. So as you can see in the particular image that we have in the viewer here, I've got some light coming in through the skylight here. And what I want to do is actually soften this up and add sort of like a very soft glow into this area. So our primary color correction in the first node is set up and that looks good for us. Okay, so what I want to do is add a second node now. And now what I'm going to do is come to my qualifier and then I'm just going to pick up the highlights here. So if I click with my um, eyedropper here on the highlights and then come over to highlight here now I can see that I've just picked up the highlights in the picture just the, the white areas but I want to pick up a bit more than that so what I can do is I take the low and I take the high luminance softening here and just widen that up a bit and then as you can see here if I just change the saturation low and high qualifiers there and then if I widen this up a bit as you can see for the hue qualifier now I get all of the light areas of the picture so you can see when I come out of that I just pick up that information that's what we want to work with here okay so now the next thing we do is you can see we have these controls here we have a blur radius and denoise and things like that in this situation I want to use the blur radius and then what I'm doing here is actually I can change the in out ratio just to cover a little bit more information there and I'm doing this on purpose normally the blur radius is to compensate uh, for any that's how we say like compression noise and things like that in the picture but then the in out ratio is to add a further compensation to decrease or increase the mat size so in this case we're actually making it a bit larger but on purpose so what I can do now here is since I've qualified that area I can bring this up a bit and then what I want to do here the blur control which is defocus and then I'm going to defocus just in that area so now as you can see here it's just defocusing just the light areas of the picture and I don't want to go too much I just want to go just a little bit you know something like this something like that okay and there we have it Okay, so for more tips and tricks like this, um, have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look at the link in the comments below. Thanks for watching.